Yes. If you see these dogs yes. in your front yard, huh, just, just know no, upstairs I'm going, going hard. Bing bong. Real trap shit. Trapaholics. What up, we gang? We back with another edition of this tag boys. game reaction shit. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? I'm so excited. We back in the building. Hey, yo. Listen, it's been a minute since we did one of these videos, man. As y'all know, I do not watch these videos before I do the reactions. So this is my initial response, an honest reaction. Today, we are gonna get into seven rappers who had a career revival. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's watch this revival. video. Rap might just be the <clears throat> fastest moving genre out there. It's not unusual for a rapper that you've never heard of to stumble into fame through social media these days. Mm -hmm. If you stop paying attention for even a short amount of time, you might just miss the ascension of a new chart topper. While there are definitely- Nowadays, everybody's blowing up their music careers on social apps like TikTok. You know what I'm saying? They're going viral with dances and things of that nature, so. I agree some that. rappers that have been holding it down in the mainstream for a really long time. You can't argue with the fact that new stars come out of nowhere. There's a flip side to that mm -hmm. coin, of course. If new rappers can gain popularity really quickly, old they rappers can, can lose popularity just as fast. We all know stories of rappers who just got a little too complacent and, to everyone's surprise, fell off. Blink, and you'll miss it. I'm talking about rappers like Fetty Wap. One second, it's... Could you be my track queen? Seems like he could do no wrong. The next second, he couldn't get on the radio <laughs> ready, ready. no matter what ready, he tried. Ready. But is it possible to revive a rap career once it has declined? <clears throat> Rappers who fall off are always going to be endlessly made fun of on Instagram comments. But those who can find their way back into relevance earn endless respect. It's not Wayne, easy to do, baby. but there are some rappers out there who have managed to become popular again after Looking falling Looking for your boy, I'm probably Before crawling the on the ceiling, sure the like button, falling on the rail, and trust me, I'm now, gone. Seven rappers I'm in another zone, revival. but trust me, I'm home. At this point, it sort of just feels like Rick Ross is always going to be around. The Florida representing rapper is a major hey, 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 hey. He has a ton of hits under his belt, yeah. and he's friends with artists that he can always call up if he wants to get a guaranteed shot at another. Rose. Like Drake, for instance. His debut single was all the way back in 2006. Hustling, hustling. Listen, when Rick Ross came out for like the first five albums, bro, this man had the ideal rap career. When I say he came out at the same time, like, I want to say he came out in the ringtone era, bro. You see, uh, Every Day I'm Hustling, and um, what other songs did he had? <clears throat> Whatever songs he had, bro. Those things were getting so many sales on ringtones alone. Never mind any, everything else, but ringtones alone. They were making money. Soldier Boy was making money off of things like ringtones. He's like, still doing well 15 crazy. years later. His latest album debuted at number two. Not bad. But things didn't always seem so solid for Ross. There was actually <clears> a point where the future of his career was a bit uncertain. After a nice start in the music business, a major roadblock appeared when an online blog published a report on Ross's past. It turned out that the backstory he was telling in his songs wasn't exactly accurate. The blog said that Rick Ross had previously served as a corrections officer in South Florida, and that he had stolen his rap persona from a famous drug dealer named Freeway Rick Ross. A rapper having their credibility questioned like this is never good. Ross played it cool though. Rather than trying to salvage his image, he mostly just ignored the allegations. He continued making music and slowly won back the fan base that had fled after learning about his past. He survived a potentially career-ending rumor by simply releasing good music. There are some people out there that could just take notes on that. <coughs> Rick Ross and Trick Daddy Dollars. Trick Daddy Dollars exposed him for being a correctional officer. <coughs> that was a big mistake in Ross's career, but I can say it wasn't life ending. It's like Rick Ross was um, basically saved by the time of this happening. Rap was becoming like, oh, <clears throat> you didn't have to be the most hardest gangster out here. You know, you could kind of just be yourself. You know, the Drakes of the world were out just coming out and like you know you didn't have to be the tough guy so he's lucky that this happened at that time if this had happened in the 90s or some shit people like <coughs> tupac and shit like that <coughs> they would have been on his case bro number dog food that doesn't smell wow. like dog food caesar wholesome bowls and simply crafted oh my god we got it but Grammarly can help. 
this sentence is grammatically correct. Six, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy may only be 30 right now, but he's been in the game for almost 15 years. Soldier Boy's career. He was only 17 me, when he released the iconic Crank That. <coughs> Talk about a good start. He's earned millions of dollars off that track alone. He dropped a few hits in the years that followed, most notably Kiss Me Through the Phone in 2008 and Pretty Boy Swag in 2010. After that, uh, <coughs> well, to be honest, his chart performance after 2010 okay. is literally He came straight, no, strictly I'm a YouTube exactly. rapper again. So how did Soldier Boy make a career comeback if his music isn't making waves. Always an innovator, Soldier realized that he didn't need to drop hits if he wanted Switched. to be famous. After spending a few years without Lanes. any attention, Soldier jumped back into social media with a vengeance. <clears throat> he claimed that he had invented pretty much every trend you can think of. I'm there is dead. some truth to this. He beefed with everyone under the sun. <laughs> that was one of the most viral things of like 20, what, 2021, maybe 2020. Maybe 2020, 2021. Soldier Boy said he man, he did everything. He released first. questionable technology. <laughs> he then claimed that he had performed the best comeback of history. And weirdly enough, this now strategy you... kind of worked. People still aren't bumping his music like they used to back in the day, but that's <laughs> probably not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> but there's no denying that he has forcibly reinserted himself I've into the public I've never been a big Soulja Boy fan. All that crank that shit, I never was it's doing that in the club. Comeback, but when I used to see grown men doing that in the club, I used to look at them like, wow. Number Y'all five, crazy as fuck. Gucci Mane has to be one of Gucci. the most interesting rappers to ever Now, live. Gucci Mane is one of my favorite rappers of all time. Gucci Mane, for sure, for sure, reinvented himself multiple times to stay relevant. And on top of that, he put out, put on for so many artists. Not just in Atlanta, but all over the place. You feel me? And that's another thing that kept him relevant was the new artists were coming up. They were all tied. A lot of them are tied to Gucci. Gucci's one of the first people to put on for Migos. Gucci's one of the first people to put on for Future. You know, Gucci probably put on for the Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I feel like I could write a book about this guy, but then again, I don't need to. He already wrote an autobiography, and it became a New York Times bestseller. His career is one that goes beyond just rap. But his musical side of his career is definitely completely legendary. Hmm. He's had more ups and downs than most, but he's definitely here to stay at this point. One thing that we can't ignore, though, is the fact that Gucci has had to really overcome some serious problems in order to keep his career going. His momentum has been totally derailed by multiple stints in prison. Those didn't matter so much in the Gucci, 2000s. Gucci, a lot of people rap. think they can go to prison and come back out and be just as hot. Gucci man, every time he went to prison, he came out with some material that was fire that basically put him back in people's faces right away because being away locked up as a rapper, <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> it does get you some sort of notoriety to a degree, but if you're gone for too long, best believe it, things are moving on. Hip hop is a thing that'll eat you up and chew you out, man. man. As quick as you come into the game, as quick as they can find another person that's just as hot or even hotter, and ride that wave. That's how hip hop is. Found, so. But his mainstream success was <clears throat> clearly nowadays. in jeopardy in 2013. <clears throat> he was facing 20 years in prison on weapon charges in that year. Gucci ended up being sentenced years. to about two years in 2014, leaving him in jail Gucci until 2016. Flat. And if I haven't already made this clear enough with this list, two years is a long time in the world of rap. But oh, when yeah. Gucci was released, it was like he'd never left. It helped that he released exactly. like 10 mixtapes while in prison. The hits came almost oh, immediately. Oh, he had to stay relevant when he was not, in prison. Gucci's comeback was very real. <laughs> Number four, Lil Durk. There was once a time Durk where Chicago wasn't exactly Let's the biggest Let's go. Thing. This is my boy right here. Listen, one thing about Durk, yo, I always cheer for Durk, yo. Like, even when Dirk, yo, <clears throat> went through the stages of having his dreads before and cutting them and then now coming back to having dreads again. Young fly nigga, how can I not, how could I not root for him? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't have a hater bone in my body. Like, I want to see a nigga like that. He remind me of a nigga like me, how I thought I was going to be when I was making music. So at the end of the day, he represent me, you know, that's how I feel. Dirk, yo. <clears throat> you could see the development in his music too along the way. Like he started off really raw talent. Then he got with Dej Loaf and started doing a little harmonizing. Shorty my Beyonce. Dirk and Dej, Dirk and Dej, Dirk and Dej. Motherfuckers was looking at them like they was going to be the new Jay-Z and Beyonce. You feel me? In hip hop. Anyway, so 
Like, I always I always rooted for a nigga like Dirk. And now that you see he's branching out, doing things with other genres, making songs with country singers, um, having different kind of artists on his label other than just hip hop. Bro, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to grow. If you don't grow within the industry that you're in or within the career that you've chosen, then what is the fucking point, bro? I can see Dirk taking over for <clears throat> a good amount of time, like in terms of how they have, they said, oh, you know, Drake took over for a while now. I can see the torch getting passed to a man like Dirk. Yeah, I know Dirk been around for a while, but sometimes you don't just glisten overnight. Sometimes you got to take time to season and marinate. And your fucking shine is going to be even bigger than it it, 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 it would have been if it was a popcorn fucking microwavable situation. You feel me? So I fuck with Dirk, yo. Hence, you see I have Dirk emotes in my fucking Twitch channel. You know what I'm saying? I really rock with Dirk. City when it Smirk. came to rap. There were some stars that had come from there, but most big acts came from either the East or the West Coasts. But things have changed in recent years. We all know that Chicago is an absolute hub for rap. Some of the biggest rappers of today come from Chicago, and that includes the head of OTF himself, Little Dirk. His career came on the heels of Chief Keef's rise to fame, though he certainly made a point of differentiating himself True. from the other drill artists at the time. By around 2015 or so, it was clear that Dirk was a force Boy. to be reckoned with. His Long music was King great, Bond, he had some momentum behind him, and it seemed like it was a matter of time until he got huge. That's and then the conversation around him just sort of stopped. There wasn't really any reason for it. He was releasing music pretty consistently, but people were just listening to other stuff, more or less. But something clicked recently, and everyone has come back around to loving Lil Durk. It seems like he's being talked about more now than ever. His beef with 6 9 that never seems to end definitely helps. He was yeah. featured on a massive Drake track, The Voice. <coughs> and the he voice carried his own number weight. Two on the charts. And he's poised to just keep climbing. Number three, Pusha T. Most people these days think of Pusha T as a solo artist. They know about his legendary feud with Drake. They know about his Fuck drug dealer Pusha persona. T, bro. And they know about his great collaborations with other artists face like ass. Kanye West. But Boy. Pusha's career is at a really different point now than where he started. Ass. To get into it, we have to go all Boy, the way back see to the 90s. Pusha didn't start off mother. as a solo artist. He started <laughs> off as one half of rap duo Clips like this alongside his brother. Clips worked alongside the Neptune. His brother's Pharrell's way more talented. Listen to me here. <laughs> his brother Malice. <clears throat> Bro, if y'all heard the shit that Malice was spitting back when Clips was something. Bro, Malice is fucking gifted. Remember I told you this, chat. Malice is fucking gifted. Whatever he I got, he he decided to go Christian or something like that. So that kind of, you know what I mean? <clears throat> if anything, put more spotlight on Pusha T. Pusha T, he's never been that great to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some of y'all going to hate me in these fucking comments, but I'm stating the facts on how I feel. And that's just my opinion. I got plenty of spots on the Billboard charts, and they generally had a great career throughout the 90s and the early 2000s. Eclipse album in the late 2000s failed to do well though, leading the group to split up. Things were definitely uncertain at this point, but Pusha persevered. He started off on a solo career and almost immediately linked up with Kanye's good music. Mm, While signing with a major artist like time. Kanye can right sometimes wreck careers, Pusha was able Lamb to reach new heights that he definitely wouldn't have been able Yo, to bitch, get so if it for Clips' disbanding. He asserted and I'll rap over this whole part because I don't like lyricist. it. And we all know about his reputation at this point. In a way, people losing interest in Clips actually ended up being a great thing for Pusha T's career. Number two. You gotta add. You believe it. I'm working on it. Freddie Gibbs is one of those rare rappers these days. I like Freddie Gibbs either to too. A crown Freddie Gibbs just got tossed all over. Uh, what is it? Privilege 112 or something like that. The restaurant or the whatever nightclub. Jim Jones just tossed him around and named his fucking album after that. Primal, Primal, Primal 112, some shit like that. But anyway, Freddie Gibbs was never another artist I don't like either. Who the hell? Boy, get your head ass. 
I'm feeling like something because you beat that rape case. Boy, I don't know about you. He's an approach with the more <laughs> lyrical one. His Arthur music Freddy is equally Gibbs. as loved by critics as it is by general rap fans. Ooh. His most recent album, Alfredo, <laughs> made it to 15 on the Billboard 200. Shut up. It should have been named Chicken Alfredo. Grammy, and appeared on basically every publication's year end list for 2020. <laughs> That's not bad for someone that has been releasing full length case. rap projects since 2004. Gibbs' career is doing better now than ever these days. And that's especially Clown. impressive when you remember what happened to him in 2016. Graduated he was from Clown University. Stage in France, but he was taken aside by police and told that he was going to face trial as a suspect in a sexual assault case. With honors. He was sent to Austria to deal with these charges. <laughs> and it ended up being a pretty big deal. He then had to sit in jail for a while before he was acquitted of everything. He went back to the US a free real. man. But some of the damage had already been done. He then released an album in 2017, but it didn't the do damage so is done. He was able to come back from all of this, though. And As now it's too late. The damage is done. And by his recent success. Seriously, he was nominated for a Grammy this year. He's in a good spot now. Number one, Tyga. Tyga, the Rack City guy, right? That's what people were saying about Tyga only a few years ago. He scored a deal with Young Money way back in 2008, and 2011 saw him ascend to legitimate rap stardom. Rack City is the obvious example, but other songs like Faded, as well as a feature on Deuces and A Ladies, did really well too. Tyga arrived at the exact right time time with the exact right sound and it paid off Tiger's but not of all good things last tiger kept <coughs> i seen the potential in him when he was on young money and i kind of rock with him a little bit but if i show y'all a video of tiger from like <coughs> i don't know when you'll fucking have a hoop i'm about to show y'all a video after this Dropping one i'll see if i can find it here culminating in a peak with 2015's AO. Then came what only can be charitably described as a bit of a dry patch. From 2015 to 2018, Tyga went on a stretch of 20 singles without hitting the charts once. He independently released an album in 2015 that did poorly, and then another in 2017 that didn't really do much better. <coughs> pretty much everyone had written Tyga off. Actually, that's not really true. The reality was that he was so far removed from the zeitgeist that no one even thought to write him off. They just didn't think of him at all. But suddenly, something happened. Tyga kicked off 2018 with the chart-topping Taste with Offset, and it was like things had just gone back to normal. Since then, he's hopped onto the remix of Doja Cat's Juicy, collaborated with Megan Thee Stallion, and even dropped the track for the recent SpongeBob movie. Tyga is back, ladies and gentlemen, and what a comeback it was. So which of these rappers do you think had the best comeback? What rapper did I miss? <coughs> Let me know in the comments. <coughs> Let me know in the comments, chat. Let me know how y'all feel about this list. <laughs> this shit got me choked right now. I ain't gonna lie to they fucking me up. But uh, let me know how y'all feel about this, chat. I don't know. My favorite rapper out of all the ones that was on this list would have to be uh, Durkio, of course. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me see if I can get this video real quick for y'all. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do this quick. Tyga Gangsters. Tyga Corrupt. Oh my God, Busters. Are not allowed. <laughs> Yo, what it is, MTV, it's your boy Tiger, aka one of the greatest. Look at this shit, Tiger. chat. This name when I was young, my mom used to say I looked like Tiger Woods, so I just stuck with that. This is Tiger before he got famous with Young Money. Got a Range Rover, CL 600, doing it big. Not too much. Parents got a Range Rover, CL 600, doing it big. TYGA, they say I'm not hood because I stay in the valley. I've never been in the alley, I tell them that. Huh, I've been in the alley. Um, 22's on the truck. Oh, what the in the fuck? <clears throat> Bro, I'm fucking Name crying. How many teeth do you need to see before you can make an ID? What the fuck? This shit is so Name cringe. Deuce, man. You got your tooth. Tiger. Name that grill. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure that's Big Gip. 
Big gift. That's a big no. Name that grill. It's like I'm not on dudes my finny. Anyway, you know I'm, I'm all this, about the ladies. This so, shit is you called busters. This guy was on a show called busters. Right what called the fuck? Some of these flowers shall be wearing some corrupt used to host that shit. Be front wearing the knockoff. That means Rolex. It's got that uh 5.25 carats of ice. Oh my god. Rolex. I knew it was real by the clarity of the diamonds. It was real. Like. I, it was real. Okay, so you tell me, D. Is it for real or for fake? I'm always for real. Wow. We got the special effect green screen right here, man. And this is gonna I had to right show y'all this because we'll Tiger was number one on the list. Right. Chad, I just had to up. show y'all this. We need only, some females up here. It's only a couple females. minutes of this left, though. Well, you know what? You gotta be a baller to get the females. That's Damn. The females wasn't coming up for Tiger, no what? Bet they coming up there for him now. <laughs> this guy is a goon. The fuck is this? This goofy. Let me tell you right now, when it lands on something, it will be an envelope. The words that are in these envelopes, they're gonna be exactly what you gotta freestyle about, okay? Tiger, spin it, spin it. <laughs> God's gift. God's gift tatted on my knuckles, basically, because I believe I'm God's gift. These are y'all envelopes. Now, when the spotlight goes on your freestyle, <clears throat> using the words that are in these envelopes. Let's get this cracking. Give it up for my boy, Tiger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, look, look. I come through and I give Nate that pressure. Huh, it's like a sumo wrestler challenging her basketball player. I'm a player, don't hate a player. Hate the game. I'm T. Why fly guy? Who you supposed to be? I was just chilling in the CPT with my NPC. Uh, I don't know what the hell is he talking about. <laughs> yeah, see, when it comes to this rapping dog, you can't see me. Uh, I spit six flu, uh, and you can't get with me Lyrically, physically, mentally, spiritually It's like, look, people do whatever for the fame Act a little different when they get it, but they money the same Amiibo, I ain't even tripping, I had Amiibo I got the six flow What is he talking about? You see how I do it, how I move it <laughs> when I move the crowd What is he talking so, about? That's it, that's it I couldn't even read that last word So <coughs> The winner is Nathan Knight in the <laughs> Tiger, you was cool, homie. He's not gonna get jacked, but I gotta keep the chain because I like it. I think it's all bullshit. It's whack. I mean, if it, if it's not me, if I'm not number one, then it's no number one. End of it. I guess something else, man. Anyways, Chad, it's been a hoot, man. <clears throat> I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. We out this bitch, man. You know what it is. It's Tammy, man. Oh, 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 Baby! Oh, oh, oh. Gang! Ooh. <laughs>